make book related videos every single Wednesday. All of my social media links are also chapter stacks and normally I don't plug them at the beginning of my videos. The only reason I am today is because it's been nagging me that I only upload once a week and I see other YouTubers uploading three times a week and it just makes me sad that I don't interact with you guys as much as I would like. So my response to that is not to start uploading more frequently just because I flat out don't have time. However, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I am going to start doing mini, not book reviews, but reviews of movies, TV shows, even random things like makeup all on there. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do down below. So today I'm going to be reviewing Into Thin Air, a personal account of the Mount Everest disaster. And yes, I'm aware this was not on my 2018 TBR, but I want to say I started this before 2018 when I made that list. I've been meaning to read this for years and I really wanted to start off 2018 with a really powerful read and this definitely was that. So I'm going to go through summary, pros and cons, everything like that. Now there won't be spoilers, although it sounds ridiculous to even use the word spoilers when talking about this book because if this is a nonfiction and even based off the title, I think it's very evident that a big portion of the people and the main characters in this book die. So, so based off the title, you can tell that this is a a first-hand account of John Krakauer. He was a journalist and back in the mid-90s he had always wanted to climb Mount Everest. He was working for a magazine and they were essentially going to pay him to do just that so he seized the opportunity. And in terms of how this book is broken up I would say a good quarter of it just has to do with history about people climbing Mount Everest in the past. So just be aware of that up front because that is a big chunk of the book. I would say about half of it is them preparing to climb Everest because is one thing I wasn't aware because I know nothing about Everest. That's one reason I wanted to read this. You have to constantly kind of go up and then back down so that you can climatize. So it's really only that last quarter of the book when it actually gets into the disaster. So in terms of what I enjoyed, I was really pleasantly surprised. and I don't know why I was surprised. I just didn't have a lot of expectations going into this, but I really enjoyed the window we got into each of these characters, which when many of them care, which I just realized I need to stop saying characters. I'm just used to using that word when I'm reviewing books. You really get to know a lot of the people in this book and obviously that makes the ending even more tragic and difficult to read but but I absolutely adored so many of the people in this book. I have to say a lot more than John Krakauer himself. Objectively I also thought the writing was very good and the reason that I say the writing was objectively good is because a lot of people I've noticed really despise this book simply because they despise John Krakauer and I have my own opinions on him which are kind of mixed but the writing itself I did really enjoy. One of the main things I also enjoyed was how he described the need, the sort of innate need that some people have for why they want to climb Mount Everest. Because I will admit a little part of my brain always had the same view on this that I kind of have on Into the Wild, which is that people are willingly putting themselves into such danger simply because they want to and then possibly leaving their family and friends behind. So that I'll admit is always in the back of my mind, but I thought the book did a really excellent job on opening my eyes to why people want to climb Everest. In terms of cons, I will say although I really enjoyed the history behind people over the years who have tried to climb Everest, some which have succeeded, some which have failed, I really enjoyed I would say 75% of it. But some of the character, again, need to stop saying characters, some of the people that he focuses on who have attempted to climb it in the past, I just thought some of those sections dragged on a little bit too long and I found my eyes glazing over just a tiny bit and I kept wanting to get back to the actual event that happened in the mid 90s. One thing I also disliked, and this is kind of gonna get into a little bit of the controversy behind the book, is that it was just way too apparent sometimes which people he was friends with and really liked and which people he disliked. Sometimes it really felt as if if he gave the people he enjoyed a huge pass on mistakes they made and people whose personalities he maybe didn't get along with. He almost reviewed them and their actions much more harshly and if you've read the book you know who I'm talking about but, but the fact that some people died in this book or shortly thereafter and his distaste for them is so apparent when I don't think any of the people in this book are bad people just did rub me a little bit the wrong way. Now getting into the controversy behind this book and John Krakauer himself, I was completely unaware of it before getting into this and then I stumbled across a few threads online and, and I definitely fell down that black hole of reading all this information. It was very eye-opening and what people are really getting at is there is a disagreement and without getting into much detail, when the disaster happens there is a guide named Borkreve I believe and him 
him and John both sort of disagree about what happened and also decisions that should have been made, which is also apparently showcased in the movie Everest, which I still have not seen. And to be clear, Everest, you know, the movie with Jake Gyllenhaal, Keira Knightley, all of them, that is about the same events, but it is not based off of Into Thin Air, which probably sounds like it doesn't make sense at first glance, but the movie is not told from John Krakauer's point of view. In fact, he's one smaller character in the movie who is not apparently showcased in the best light, and he's very vocal about the fact that the movie is wrong and how they showcased him. With the whole matter of Borkri versus Krakauer, I feel like the truth must lie somewhere in the middle. I think, Considering we weren't there, I don't think it's necessarily fair to demonize one man or the other, but those are overall my thoughts on Into Thin air. I would highly recommend it and then maybe do some of your own side reading and learn about other people's opinions for what they viewed happened. But please let me know into thin air. What did you think of it? What did you think of John Krakauer? Do, have you read any other books about this event or have you seen the movie Everest? So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you're having a wonderful 2018 and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye!